Good morning and welcome to A1 and Vacuum and Sewing's live stream for Friday, uh, December 16th. Um, Poppy and Momo will be in the store today. Uh, Poppy is here with her big brother. Um, what all do we have going on today? I think there is a Riley Blake table topper class happening today. So, um, yes, yeah, so we've got the Riley Blake hearts table topper class actually ongoing right now. Um, we've got, um, also, that brother, 3,600, 3,700, 1,600, and 1,700 class. Um, that's also the Baby Lock, Aventura, Flourish, Vesta, and Venta uh, machine class going on today at 2 p.m. And um, trying to think of... Uh, what else is happening next week? I think we covered that all next week, as far as next week. Keep in mind, store is open through the 23rd. We'll be closing at 4 p.m. on the 23rd and then reopening again um, to normal hours on the 3rd. Alex and I were talking this morning, and I think Alex is actually going to be in the store that week on several mornings, still working on machines. We'll figure out if we'll do some drop-off and pickup times um, for machines during that period of time. But as I said last week, I do not think machines brought at this point will be returned prior to the holiday. Um, it is kind of our big push to um, to get everything uh, done and through. Um, what does he have? Oh, take that away. He'll destroy that thing. Um, what are we giving away today? What do it they is want? Friday. What do they want? What do you want, ladies? Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We could give away another sweatshirt. We could give away a... So it is Friday giveaway day. Anybody who is new to the stream that doesn't know, we give away a, um... A prize every Friday using a random comment picker. Um, and I think Jeannie was saying today that that giveaway, I think our main prize will be a baby lock sweatshirt. Sure. And then um, are you going to get a runner up prize? What did you call it? A gift to Ramaruski. A gift to Ramaruski. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. We could either do like a little set of these, or we could do this. About the same. Oh price. my God! I would almost say that's better than the than the. Uh, where'd that peel just go? Right here. Um. Order up. Order up, ladies. I would almost say that's better than the sweatshirt. Yeah. Should that be the main prize then? So um, I didn't even know they had these. I don't know if these are new, but I got an email from my uh, from a Dime. Free sewing machine. Mary, did you email me back? I think I sent you an email, but I could have made that up in my mind. Sometimes I make things up and I think I did them and then I didn't do them. And the other thing I do is I write the email and then I don't hit send. No. <laughs> What's the point, right? Um, the point is I mean to hit send. 
Uh, okay, so let's give away one of these. This is um, Exquisite Thread, and it's exquisite just like the name. Uh, if you are from out of town, you need to... The sweatshirt is... We're going to give away a sweatshirt, and we're going to give this away. Should we do one on YouTube and one on... Are we really giving him this yak stick? Because he will literally demolish the whole thing. Uh, okay, take it. So... Um, this is Exquisite Thread. This is a 24 set. It is um, their basics. So it's going to have, and it'd be a great little like travel set. So if you're going to be like, you could just keep this in its little box and you could take this with you um, when you're like, or leave it at, I know a lot of you go and visit the kids and stay for a while, or um, some of you might have another home, or um, some of you take this to classes so you can have a little set that you keep just for your classes. And So um, what are we doing on YouTube and what are we doing on Are we Facebook? really doing that? I think our YouTube people would be stoked. Okay. YouTube and Facebook, and um, that means uh, what, if you who, want to... Who's getting the thread and who's getting the sweatshirt? We'll do um, thread on Facebook and sweatshirt on YouTube. Okay. And and no question, it's just going to be whoever answers, whoever we select. We're just going to do it. We're going to go easy on It's a you. Christmas giveaway. It's a Christmas it's miracle, a Christmas folks. Christmas giveaway. Okay. My... Um, my hands are so dry, they feel like they're going to just crack right off and just leave look, me look, look at, at the mine. wrists. We're, I, oh, yours are really bad, too, huh? Oh, my God. They're so bad. Here, have some Although of this. I can't use it's that. It's honeysuckle. It's honeysuckle. Why can't you use this? Because it's honeysuckle. Oh, my God. Do you need something like Sarah V? It's got to be something uh, more manly. Something like manly. Like, like badger cream <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Mink oil. <laughs> <laughs> that you like that you hunted and harvested yourself. I can only moisturize my hands with elk blood. <laughs> something stupid like that. Uh, OK, so um, we're going to do. So did we decide? Sweatshirt on Facebook. So if you really want that thread, you better get you can get two devices up, and you don't have to do it now because well, all and weekend. let's say no duplicate winners though. Yeah, no like duplicate. Like if you win on Facebook, you cannot win on YouTube. Marlene, we know how lucky you are. Although I have not seen your name lately, but um, yes, we're no, you cannot be a duplicate winner. You cannot win both of those. That's a little win greedy. Let's share. It's the holidays. <laughs> so, um, there. No, is is no. falling just part of getting older? Because I keep falling. Patrick fell again last night. I got out, I got out of the rental truck and everything in our, like, our, uh, they didn't plow our cul-de-sac. They did, like, they did one. Did you see what they did? They just went straight. Like, and then, so they came in off the street, and so in the center of the cul-de-sac, yeah, there's a no, straight totally run that's, that's the that was plowed, but they did not go around the cul-de-sac. Okay, I, do you guys, sometimes when I want mindless entertainment, I get on, I get on next door. Does anyone, does anyone go on next door? Anyone? Do they have that, like, everywhere? Is that just I'm a, amazed you didn't call it next door neighbor. <laughs> I call it next door. She's always like, I was on next door neighbor. And I'm like, uh, that's not what it's called. And then they all make fun of me. Um, so I was on, well, because we're on here. So I want to I want to pretend to be smart. <laughs> Violet said something to me about, what did she say to me? She's like, well, you're smart in different ways. <laughs> we were talking about something. She's basically. She was. Uh, she asks. Maybe we we're talking something political. She asks political. me to help her writing, and we have. Perfect. We have we the people conversations. I can have we the people conversations. God, Patrick. Um, you were telling them what Violet was saying. I'm not talking to you. Why, anyway, you didn't even. I didn't even so, say anything. So, um, so, uh. Anyways, I was on next door, and there was somebody wrote in about, oh, you know, what's the point of having people plow your plow when they, they leave, leave a two foot berm? Yes, 
And um, so Patrick and I started talking about it because everyone's like, at least they plow. Deal with it. It was, it was like, you know how they get really. Oh, my ca- God. Like, they next get door so catty. Is so, funny. so do they have next door back east? They have next door everywhere, Jeannie. It's a website. They have it in. Ooh. They have it in Europe. Oh, they really? They have it in South America. It's a website. If you go to nextdoor.com, it is Yeah, there. but I don't, I don't know if people go on it. Like, do they go on it I think back it exists east? because everybody goes on it. And everyone gets on there and they're so catty. Like, they're <laughs> – and so I go on there just like – I'm like, oh, I, I'll waste – you know, if I'm, like, going to bed or something and I'm like, oh, let me – I'm, like, uh, asleep and she's drama. next to me laughing. She's like, let me read you this one. <laughs> this lady took a picture of somebody <laughs> throwing something in her garbage that was out on the curb to be picked up. <laughs> I'm like, I know that person. <laughs> So, um, anyway, so uh, they were writing about the berms, and Patrick and I started talking because, you know, everyone's like, after they plow, you got to go out and you got to clear that berm, and that's how it it is. Yeah, that's how it is. Well, growing up back east, people knew how to plow. That's what Patrick and I were talking about. We used to, like, so in our prior neighborhood, they would leave, and, and like, I feel like it snowed a lot more then, but they would leave, like, a four-foot berm, and I finally went out and talked to the guy, and I was like, do you know how to move the plow? Patrick, don't, did you talk to him like that? So rude. Well, no. I was like, hey, man, do you know how to move the plow? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, so it's angled to the left and it leaves a berm when you get to a driveway you straighten it out and it pushes the snow and then when you pass the driveway you turn it back right and he started doing it he just didn't know how to do it so growing up we never like you would have maybe a little bit like as they push it by your driveway a little bit and we've lived lived all over like you know i've lived in Boston, Philadelphia, in Denver, there. It, in like Colorado, they never did that. Yeah, like they knew how to plow, but in Reno, they just push it. They angle it. They and angle push it, it, and they leave a berm at your driveway. It's yes. the most ridiculous thing. Yes. So, um, we've got to fight for our right to no berms. <laughs> and uh, I feel like they just need to have like the get all the the I plow guys together and go. Okay, straight on the driveways. And angled past. And then that would just solve the problem. That's that's like it. Anyways, Why I is never there Japanese curry in here. I never I never write anything and I'm a voyeur. But I wrote in. I was like and I was like, should I hit the button? Because people get so mean. They like they 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 start yelling at each other and yelling at you and stuff. So um Hopefully, uh, the person who plows our neighborhood will have been watched, watch Reddit. And he gone. didn't even plow our cul-de-sac. He literally pulled. Drove right down he the drove middle. drove right down the middle. And then everything else, because it was, like, falling slush. Well, and that's the other thing. Like, back east, like, they are on top of it. And it's, like, the entire street. Everything's done. And when we moved here, they sold all the plows. Right? Didn't they? Well, the city had, like, sold the plows. They yeah. had, like, one plow. Which is why your neighborhood gets plowed and mine doesn't. Yes, that's the other thing. There's some neighborhoods that don't even get plowed, like Michelle's saying. And so those people were on going, well, at least your neighborhood gets plowed. So I get it. I get it. Um, Just be glad you don't live in Tahoe. I mean, I think you kind of know what you're getting into when you go to live in, like, Tahoe, right? I think some people don't. I would be like, going to get up my own plow. So, uh, thank well, you. And like berms and Tahoe are a totally different deal <laughs> because they don't, they don't, they plow berms in Tahoe and like the skiers, like you literally will hear them cause they plow the surface streets. The city does in like Truckee, yeah. but it's private plow companies that plow the driveways. Yeah. And so people will be like, it was nice light snow. I was able to blow through the berm today. Some people get high centered. They get their cars stuck because the car hits the berm and goes over, but then neither tires on the ground. So then they have to shovel out underneath, underneath? their cars. Wow. So, but, but I'm like, where I went to college, it snowed a lot. Like I went to college in, in upstate New York 
And like a big snowstorm would be four or five feet. We have and those there too were in Boston. Never berms. Yeah, we had those in Boston. They knew how. But to they plow. would plow if you parked on the street. You'd be plowed in. You'd have to clear that out. So <laughs> Alice Levinson's like, yes, back east we get plowed, but how do our property taxes compare? Ooh, Alice, good point. We have, no, I mean, we have, we have some. They're not like back east, not like back east. <laughs> You're right. You know what? I'll take those berms. Thank you, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> Our property taxes actually are not that great. Our income taxes, yes. on the other hand. Yes. Okay. Um, I can't stop eating buntinis, Miss Cram. I think that was my Patrick sixth ate. buntini of the last two days. He had he had lunch, and then he had four yesterday. And then Every time I was a little hungry, I was like, I'll just eat another bunt cake. <laughs> I think that's going to be a perfect breakfast. It was. Yeah. I just ate one. Um, no snow equipment. I know it's funny if you're in an area where um, where you don't normally get snow and then you do, it just So what it. was it? Was it 2005? It was the year the kids were born. New Year's Eve, it snowed, what, three feet? Yeah. Four feet? It was fun. Like, we went and sat down at dinner, and then we got up after dinner. We had friends over for dinner, and I opened the front door. Like, we it, we knew it was snowing, but, like, it was it really wasn't supposed to snow that much. And we opened – we had a storm door, and we opened the door, and the, the snow on the storm door was, like, five feet high. No. Yes. It had blown in, like, five feet high. And then we took the snowmobile out. And we're riding around in the street. Patrick was giving me a ride. I'm like, slow down. You're going too fast. He's, like, going like five miles an hour. I was like, we're going, like, two <laughs> miles an hour, Jeannie. And then, and then the city declared a state of emergency because the year before they had sold, like, most of the plow equipment. And we had babies and, like, uh... I ended up, I think it was two days later, my mom was with us, and I went to the grocery store on the snowmobile. How exciting is that? I was like, I was like, we got to go to the grocery store, and the, and I was like, I walked out to the end of the street to see if Mayberry had been plowed, and it still hadn't been plowed. Oh my God, wouldn't that be so exciting? I wish and that so would I happen. drove to the, well, and it was funny, because I was like, how are you guys getting to and from work? And, like, the people at the grocery store just stayed there. Yeah, they were sleeping. had to park his car at the grocery store parking lot, because the VA was actually on call for um, emergencies, which they never are. But we couldn't get, we had berms. We couldn't get out. Yeah. Well, they couldn't, I mean, they just didn't plow the street for, like, no. they, they were trying to get 80 and stuff like that plowed. And like, yeah. So they that were like, be... how did you get here? And I was like, I drove my snowmobile. People were actually stealing backhoes out of uh, out of parking lots. There was people in the northwest there because they couldn't get up Mayam. Yeah. There was a backhoe that got left in that parking lot where Safeway was. Yeah. And somebody actually hot-wired it. Wow. Did you, did you not see that on the news? They hot-wired it so they could yeah. call their neighborhood so that they could get out. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, I think, Gail, I think that's crazy that there were, back in the old days, there were no Well, there clouds. was a like, lot this more is, snow. This is an area that gets, like, a lot of snow sometimes. So it's not all the time, but sometimes for sure. He wants some love, don't you? Well, okay. I was, I was telling Patrick on my way in that I'm a little... Um, uh, I'm a, you miss, you, you I miss, miss Momo. Momo. Momo doesn't... Remember Momo was my Velcro dog? Come on. He barely gives me any attention anymore. She only it's has eyes. It's all that other puppy, and she's going to go. I'm just kidding. She's so cute. This but, morning, uh, Jeannie's like, I don't know about the... the Oh my God! I just I can't look at her without. <laughs> I, know, I, was, I was gonna say she was like, gur, 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 gur. "Oh my God! Look at her! She's so <laughs> cute! I just love her." <laughs> she is so Come here. cute. She is Everybody so cute. Everybody sees so. the puppy. They need to see you. I know, but this is my first love. This is see. Hi. Did you see that? I didn't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, I give my Momo lots and lots of love. But um, we did get... Momo doesn't give us that much that's, love anymore. That, you, know what, you know who's a traitor? That's the traitor over there. 
and his name begins with an M and ends with a Omo. <laughs> okay. All right. So the giveaway is just the giveaway. Make a comment. Say hello. Do something. Uh, thread, thread to the um, thread to Facebook. We better write that sweatshirt. down because I don't want no, anyone I'll upset. Remember. Thread, thread to, to Facebook. Facebook. Sweatshirt to. Um, and I'll let you pick your size. I don't have all the sizes in stock, but I'll get you your size if there's a different size that you want. So thread to Facebook. And then sweatshirt to um, YouTube. And you can double dip. So you can go on and make a comment on Facebook and you can make a comment on YouTube. I think Lynn, who won last week, said she's never she never wins anything. Well, and so also just a, a I side I never win note, anything either. Uh, I won you. If you're out I of, won you. I won you too. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're new to the live stream, the way the giveaway works is we use a random comment picker. If you're out of town, you still win, but you pay the actual shipping. Um, we do a giveaway every Friday. We are shifting in the new year to only YouTube. Only YouTube. Only There's YouTube. There's always pain and change. You're going to have to figure out where and how, but once you get on it's there, easy. you'll be fine. It's easy. And it's going to be easier for us because we're not going to be dealing with uh, dropped frames. That there, There's never any dropped frames on well, YouTube. Well, we'll copy and paste the YouTube live stream to Facebook, but, but if you comment on you were Facebook, not gonna see it. we're not going to see it. Nobody's going to see it on YouTube. We're just trying to make it easy. That's my miso soup from like... Knowing you, you'll drink it in like three days. Patrick, no, I'm not. You think I'm a swamp creature. I don't think you're a swamp creature. I think you love to test the boundaries of food expiration dates. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's because I'm Korean and I grew up with leaving stuff out on the counter. Koreans for like... just leave it out on the counter. Although her brother's been sick twice and both times he was like, yeah, I gambled and lost. Yeah. And I'm like, well, doesn't it, doesn't it, don't you taste it? Like, can't you taste expired food? The worst sick I'd ever been was from uh, shellfish, and you, I couldn't t taste it. It's not. It was like little clams. I was in Korea, and um, and I ate mine, and then my cousin, who I was having lunch with, wasn't eating his, and I said, can I eat your clams too? And I got it bad. I was so sick. Well, that may not have been food spoilage. It wasn't that, food spoilage. That might have yeah. been like clams that were pulled out of somewhere where people poo. Ooh. Kathy has mentioned twice that she loves her thimble. Isn't that thimble amazing? So um, just so you know, I ordered more, so I have 15 more coming. So if you didn't get a confirmation that your thimble's on its way, that's because I, I only ordered eight. I didn't know if you guys were going to want them. And um, so I ordered more, and I'll have them next week. If you didn't get one, you should get one. It's on the website at half off, and it is normally 12 bucks, and it's on there for $5.99. So what a great price. There have been multiple thimbles. They had a, like an iridescent white, a rainbow, and um, the rose gold. Uh, the rose gold is it's ceramic, so it's nice and heavy, and it'll be perfect to put all of your your goodies in. What is the Facebook name? The Facebook name is A One. I don't even know A One Vacuum and Sewing. If you type A One Vacuum and Sewing and put in Reno, then it'll come up. Um, and then how about on uh, Patrick? I was looking at important stuff. What's our, our YouTube name? A1? It's We are A1 Reno Vac and Sew. So. I, I don't and, even know. And and that is actually true on Facebook as well. I, I don't even know that. I think I always just type in A1 Vacuum and Sewing Reno and then it, it well, comes up. Well, it'll come up that way too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm glad to hear, Miss Levinson, that your thread tower is on its way. Yay! I might another yes. You should get several of the rose gold, uh, the thimbles, and they're so cute and they're sewing themed, right? So I had like, <laughs> I think I had like, you know, one of those plastic things you get from the deli. That's the book. IQ design. Oh, it's not on the. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, several of you have written in about the, there's a new book, so we can sell Called that. Called Mastering Your IQ. It's a baby lock book. Yeah, Mastering IQ Designer. Um, and I think you've seen it on some different websites. So it's not on, we couldn't find it because it wasn't on the website, but we can, we're going to, we'll do a daily deal on that next week. Patrick? Would you like to do a daily deal on it? Oh yeah, week? why wouldn't we? We're, it's going to be good. Best deal ever. And it's going to, you know what, change your life. I can't say it it's anymore. It's going to change your life. You're going to be a master of IQ designer. And if you have a Luminaire or a um, a Dream Machine, if you have the Brother version, it's still going to work for you. It's just going to, I mean, all the icons are the same. Everything's going to be exactly so, the same. So let's just talk about it. So that book is listed on other sites, I think, at $249. Ooh, we're going to really give you a good deal. Uh, Does it 100, have matte 150 pricing? We're going to do it hundred dollars. Well, so, but that's below map. So we can't put it on the website. It won't be on the website. We'll it's put it on the super website. Duper, can we give them a code? We'll put it on the website and then we'll discount it. Can we give them a special code? That's a question for Christine. Maybe we could do that, but uh, I'll get it up later today. So yeah, it's normally 250, 150, hundred bucks off. Hundred, a hun. What are you gonna do with that money? So when your husband asks you, or your your significant other asks you how much it was, you say, "This is how much I saved." So it was. <laughs> I, I I had a customer in the store yesterday that said, "My greatest fear is that I die, and my husband sells everything I bought for what I told him I spent on it." <laughs> So, uh, so yes. So if you don't want to do it right now, um, I'll order, I'll just, I'll order, order a whole bunch one. of, why one or order 10. Cause I, that's the I'm kind of thing order... that we'll end up with like a bunch left over. I don't think so. Okay. I'll oh, order five for now. She's chasing, uh, Momo. She's, she's quivering. She's like, <laughs> she's sleeping, but quivering. Um, so, uh, let's talk a little about the break. A, it's only five days away. <laughs> that was the worst. I'm Do you know how many times she does that? I'm like, up high. And she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad a, at high five. she's got to jump to get there. She's like, <laughs> like a little kid trying to grab something. But. <laughs> And then when did you, like, all of a Somebody sudden one day, you she's like, you got to look at the elbow. Somebody you got to look at the elbow. <laughs> and I'm like, why would you look me, at the elbow? Let's, let's try it. Oh, I was looking straight at the elbow. <laughs> why wouldn't you look at the hand? Somebody told me. Somebody told me you got to look at the elbow. Is that, has anyone else ever heard that? Please don't let grandma put on my <laughs> Yeah, don't put him on the curb. So, so, uh, no, yeah. Margaret, uh, that's so me to miss. A, I'm not even, I am tired. I did a 2 30 duty. And then Patrick's so bad because I do morning duty and I go and get the dog and I take it. I, I wake shut up the anyways. door. I shut the door. I was awake. The I, whole do, time. I had to Patrick leave at eight. Patrick leaves the door open. I had to leave at eight. You had to get up. I'm like, anyhow, I was waking up. I am kids. tired. But, Margaret, even on my best days, um, most likely I will miss the high five. Even if she's looking at the elbow. Yeah. Remember, so, I was the kid they picked last in gym class. Except for one time she got picked first by what was his name? Ben Hatch. And then did he regret it? He regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> he regretted it. <laughs> and you know what? I have said it before. That was a lot of pressure. Being picked first. And then they ex you pick the kids that are going to kick the ball out of the field. Not me. I I do kickball like I do high fives. <laughs> a swing and a miss. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, let's talk a little bit about the break. So Alex had said that he'll be in a, a handful of days over the break. So we're going to try to clean up and catch up. We will be working on some machines. I don't know how, how we did with signups for the upgrade three class. We might. Um, there, there were a decent. I mean, there's like, 
I think they're both probably half full at this point. I don't know how If many. they're half full, we might make one whole full. Yeah, so we may combine those classes. So, yeah, just so you know, uh, Michelle put up upgrade three. Oh, and I'm I think counting days, Betty. I'm I, counting hours. You know, Patrick's been having really bad back pain. And it's getting old, and I keep falling. Yeah, and then he, that's my biggest fear is a fall. Because every time we have somebody come in and they're like, they they have like crutches or they have a cast or something, we're like, what happened? And it's always a fall. So. Um, and there's so much ice out there right now. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So what do you. Joanne, you were chosen. Be you must you must have been really good at kicking. So anyways, we are, uh, we will probably announce a couple of days to pick stuff up. Yeah, I'll come in a couple of mornings. How are we going to do that? Will we put it on like Facebook or where will we put on our website? Uh, Should we just decide? No, because we have to see when stuff is actually arriving. Momo. And then maybe is Momo I'll, in, the, in the kennel? In the kennel. Yeah, he's in maybe the I'll kennel. get up one day and it'll be like the day I'm supposed to come in and maybe I'll just be like, I'm too tired. Right. We're off. So we're going to come in when we feel like it. But Alex is going to be here most days. So if your machine oh, is really? here. Yeah, he said he's going to come in and work several of the days. Oh, so then So he I... will let people know when he texts them and stuff when he's available. Um, I guess. So. Oh, my gosh. Did she probably say hello? Good morning. Well, I think we're going to have to maybe run with her to. Uh... Oh, no, you fell. Oh my God, he fell too? I feel fortunate because I look at Patrick and I go, mm, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Because I'm like low to the ground. I get down and I That's, walk and I kind of get low. So if I fall, it's just like, it's just like, I, I like, I just tilt all over pretty much. I, uh, I literally, uh, Falls aren't that bad. Like, I feel like my body's in condition for it, but like, this puppy's killing my Falls back. Falls are bad. I feel like this puppy's killing my back. My back was she's in rough go. shape before she's the gotta, fall. She's got to go. Uh, are Maybe. we doing lives? No. We are taking a week off of live We're not streams. doing lives. We are, we are taking a week off of lives. I looked at that the That was hand. like the best. Yeah, see, you look at the hand. You never look at the elbow. That's like the little kids on the slope. Oh, me. <laughs> yeah, that is me. <laughs> I'm just down low. Just pizza. What's the other one called? French fries. Pizza, French fries. Pizza. I went she skiing never with got, a. She never got beyond. I went skiing pizza, with a girlfriend, fries. and she goes, "What's what's up with your left leg?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" She goes, "It looks like it's just along for the ride, like it just like doesn't do anything. I just drag it along when we ski." All right, um, I think that's it. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Um, I emailed my digital dealer gals. I sent you the taco design. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's an exclusive giveaway for Kimber Bell for people that sign up for Digital Dealer. If you feel like you gotta have the taco, then you gotta sign up. They might make it so you I gotta could. Have uh, the taco. They might. I gotta sign up for Digital Dealer Club. They might make it something that you can purchase. <laughs> I am so sorry, ladies. I don't know why. Anyways. They all um, need the taco. Uh, but uh, but um, I think Rolo looked at the taco and she goes, that thing looks weird. <laughs> I, oh, like, I haven't even seen the taco. Yeah, I started laughing so hard. I read that. She goes, that design's weird. But it's cute. It's like it looks like a little taco and you wrap up your cord. It's a cord organizer. But that made me laugh out loud. Um, is there a question? There is no question. Should there be a question? There's no question, but should we just ask one anyways? No. What would you like to know? No. No question. <laughs> no. Not thinking that, that hard this morning. Yeah, because that means on Tuesday we're like, did we ask a question? Duh. <laughs> so uh, Maddie's mom, if you purchase on the website, 
we will adjust the price to the Christmas list price. Okay. Yes. That's the easiest way to do it. If there's items that you want that are on the Christmas list that are not on the website, if you leave them in the notes, we will add them, adjust the pricing, and call you for the price difference. Yeah, and if you, there was something that on your receipt, like don't feel bad. Like if you, um, because sometimes we do it late at night, we're really tired. Um, if something you go, I don't think I got my discount, just email us. I want you to get your discounts, ladies. I want you to be happy with your purchase. I don't want you to be like, they said I'd get my discount. I didn't get my discount. I have not mailed anything without double checking and sending discounts. Yeah, but maybe I have. Well, but you haven't mailed, well, you've mailed a I couple have. things that I wasn't part of, but everything else I was So part of. just let us know and just know that we're, we're only human, born to make mistakes. All right. Um, Onward, upward. We got to get to work. Have a great day. Be creative. Five days and counting. Make something incredible. <laughs> High five. And um, let's see. Can you do it one more time? <laughs> we will see you uh, Tuesday. Yep. No live stream tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll do last. I'll do tonight and tomorrow morning if you feel that gypped. No.